Hey guys, I'm Shark back playing and showing you how you can solo carry every single one of your games with this simple yet effective Heimerdinger mid strategy where, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just push with turrets and uh, run around them to outplay them. Obviously, like in simple terms, that's how it's going to go, but there's going to be things we need to do besides that. So, like usual guys, if you enjoy Find it helpful, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes we took. Electric Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Absolute Focus, Gathering Storm. Those are the rune stats there. And in this lane, we're playing against Gangplank. Pretty medium difficulty matchup. Yeah. So right away, we're going to get three minions. Elise is probably the best champion at ganking us. So we have to be very careful of that. We're just going to play it slow. Place the turrets very far out compared to one another. So that way Gangplank can't just barrel all three of them. But yeah, he took Q level one. And just keep the shove up. I mean, W max versus Q max. It's one of those things where semi-dependent on the lane. Against melees, you can opt for Q max. Against range, definitely want to opt for the W max. And he's just trying to get into Q range. That's all he's trying to do. So we, should, we just gotta kite him out. <laughs> he's trying to get into Q range. So he's that. <laughs> like, <laughs> you see the simple strategy I'm talking about? Like, look. <laughs> oh, cool beans, yo. Cool beans. We do want to remain mostly healthy since again we have to worry about at least ganking but as long as we have our ignite and e up we can probably turn it and make it a one for one well, that wasn't that was actually kind of a misplay for me but it's fine got a q off on me i mean well played another q okay gonna be harder for us to shove the gangplank under tower later on like well actually see so I'm talking about so you got to factor and worry about that at least gank is mighty deadly Gonna go for the Q Max. Hey, and that is why we play the Heimerdinger pick mid. It's because we go one for one when we're getting ganked. We will take that. Nah. My wave is doomed. You just kind of have to accept it and then try to like trade Scuttle Crab for it. That's fine. Dark Seal Amp. And at least flashed on top of that. But you're just going to get camped. Elise is literally the best ganker for Heimerdinger, if that makes sense. Among the best. Next to, it's just a gank heavy jungler. That's all. A lot of lockdown, and it's just easy stuff. Heimer, the gangplank's wave is good, so he doesn't really have to worry too much about losing that many minions. I should have placed the Q further back. It's my bad. W predicted where he was trying to go. We're just trying to proc electrocute. We're hovering here because we know that uh, Elise can cause us some troubles, but I don't think she should. Maybe she's recalling. She got the kill after also. would want to spend the gold i would think shoving the gangplank under tower we're waiting for our three turrets to come up so that way we can you know what i'm saying play aggressive there and now we're gonna place them
Gotta place them far from one another so that way his barrels can't hit all of them at once. Arcane Heimerdinger, give it up. Hit his barrel so that way he can't let it go off. Got him like that. And look at that. That's what I'm talking about. This is why you want to play Heimerdinger mid. You want to get ganked because you can just turn it on them. And look, Elise is coming top. And because our good jungle tracking, we can just back away. So we don't die. And it's huge. You see what I'm saying? Turrets are kind of like a ward for me. So we know Elise isn't trying to cancel our back. Am I recording? I am. Nice. Lost chapter is pretty huge. We won't have a mana problem if we spam W. And literally, we're helping our team by just drawing as much attention mid. At least it's still going to be a problem without a doubt, but... You know, it is what it is. Ah. That at least pick. I will let, uh... Gangplank get his way for a little bit. Just like that. I think we won the trade slightly, but he does has his he has his W sustain and corrupting, so that's a little bit of a pain. We gotta wait for our I'm trying to get a deep ward for the Elise. She should still be topside if I'm not mistaken. Backing away whenever he tries to use Q and we can't retaliate with our cooldowns. This is the most awkward turret placements ever, but <laughs> it's only temporary. As we have more points into our queue, it comes up more often, so that's good. Timed it. You see what I'm saying? You just got to time the auto attacks. So that way it can't go off. I mean, jungle tracking does have to be pretty on point. When you're playing high mirror, you're always going to be shoving in ways, but you have to know... The perceived threat of the jungler and support roaming mid. Got the W off. Gonna hit it with an auto attack for the tower plating. It's huge. It's fine if our turrets die here. We have more to come. Got him. And honestly, we can keep this up. I mean, it's not even the worst thing in the world. Just shoving the gangplank in. Just beating him in CS and just applying that pressure. Nice one. Well played. Good gank. Easy strategy. Oh, man. Oh, dear. You did not have to die there. But that's what I'm talking about. Easy strategy. We just had to ignite the gangplank before he W'd. So that way he wouldn't get as much healing. Easy strategy, guys. You run around your turrets and they outplay themselves. Well, not necessarily that. More or less, it's just... That's how your champ is built. But in simple terms, that's how it's put. You run around your turrets and they outplay themselves. I'm gonna get another tower plating and then we're dipping. Shut down. Oh, okay. This is just try to limit test. I think I would have gotten the kill if I landed every single one of them. Ah, or maybe it would have been close. Not sure, but hmm. could have played that smarter. Zonius, I mean. I guess it is the go-to, especially in this game where they're heavy AD, we just kind of have to. I don't want to sit for a potion, it's fine. We're so far ahead now that Gangplank really shouldn't be in range to dish out our damage. Or to, yeah, damage me. 
if I position correctly. And our turrets now burn. Full beans. In a lot of games, I prefer Rabadons or... I prefer Rabadons or, uh, you know, that Void Staff. Second. Or Shadow Flame, you know? Really aggressive setup like that, but... It's some situational games where... You know, they're heavy AD or... You can negate a lot of their damage with Zonia, especially against those assassins. It's uh, quite ideal. Got him. Well played. Mid diff. You, we always have Pryo, so we're chilling. And that's uh, Elise's red buff, which is huge. Alright. It's okay if we get ganked. I don't really mind. The Andrews burn. We can shove up. And we can just deny gangplank from even autoing the wave so our turrets stay alive. Got him. Leandri's burn really does do a lot over time. His W's gone. I can even place my turrets further. Why not? And no one wants to gank me anymore. No one wants to gank me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like gangplank isn't even safe under tower we don't need to be ganked to get kills my phone oh guys i have to stop after this game i have to cook the lunch or it's dinner. I mean, it's 5 a.m. and you know what I'm saying? It's the lasagna, so I don't know. We'll see. W? I'm just like that. At least doesn't want to gank. We might be able to set up something. No? Ah, we can't. I just wait for my ult and then try to do something sneaky. Nah. It's doomed. I thought we could go for something sneaky on the Elise, but I don't even know if she's at bot. Her Gromp is up. She might have. I don't know. She might have recalled. Done something like that. On bot lane's getting stomped. In the mid game, we probably might have to just split push, draw them all to us, and then win that way. Oh, a render just finished. Nice. Cut up. I'll put that towards uploading later. My W didn't hit. Bummer. After I take this mid tire, that's when I'll go bot. Lots of mana from Leandries. And we gotta be careful about the burn damage under tower. <laughs> it's so funny. He doesn't even have MR. I thought, ah. Oh, I thought he did have MR. Back away, make sure all our turrets get put in the work, and then uh, that should be a tower mid. Gotta run away. Could have landed on my W, but just kind of a bummer. I didn't. Now my turrets can do the farming there. I have enough for Zonia, so it is ideal that we back. 
I think I took Pike's red buff. Rift doesn't mean much more than drag. We can take drag. Do want to base and go bot lane though. You should probably just go mid. No? You don't want to listen? Cool. Didn't expect you to, you brain dead. I'll just stop there. Nah, I'm just playing. No, it's actually, yeah, it's the correct macro, but they're just not going to listen. So <laughs> there's, there's nothing, you know, intelligent about what they're doing, but I'm, I mean, I'm not going to flame just because they don't know better. You know what I mean? We're just going to keep it fun, fun, fun. Uh -huh. Okay. We have red buff, so we should get, <laughs> we saved the Udyr. Cool. We're just getting, we have red buff, so we should get a lot of health regen if we aren't in combat like so. And now, all I need is Udyr to help a brother out and give me that blue buff, which he will. You're so kind. Actually, I'll take Gromp too because I need a recall and then get. Need a recall and then get. What's that item called? Needless Rod. I mean, I can build. No, nah, Demonic's not it. Not for this game. Shadow Flame's better. Rallies isn't bad. But since we're mid, especially, we want to go for more of a heavy approach on the AP and opt for that Needless. Update on the situation with the haircut, guys. Guess what? This is my second recording today, so... I still didn't get the haircut, but I will get it this weekend. Thank you guys so much for your support and all your generosity with just viewing my content. Uh... You know what I mean? The Twitch subs, they're legendary. I appreciate y'all, you know, like tenfold or, you know, ten times, whatever. But, you know, it's just any support really does help me out a lot. I can uh, afford to buy weekly, not weekly, monthly haircuts. And that's huge, you know. Anyways, I should be bots, but my bot lane doesn't want me to be bot, which is unfortunate. So we just have to play around. There inefficient play styles and just be good so we're just gonna uh, shove in mid we're gonna draw pressure away from bot lane eventually most likely we landed all our uh sniped him we landed all of our w on the gangplank and he can't just come mid like that we're gonna try to place the turret to try to take tower which we do and we have blue buff which is huge Oh, I missed. Got him. Simple strategy. Heimerdinger is underrated. And he's fun to play, honestly. Like, in my opinion, this is fun. It's not like uh, Malphite, for instance. Like the tank version. You, you know what I mean. It's not like a boring champ. It's fun. Lots of fun. Probably gonna head top after we take red buff. Urgot has ult, so we can definitely look for it. Turret is tanking. Next wave is coming up. Gonna get one, just absolutely annihilated. And Urgot, you gotta clutch up. Get him low enough so you can pull it in, uh, pull him in. And that's what we. Oh, I don't think that got me the kill, but 
Ah, uh, I feel like that was a bad usage of Zonius. Could have been better. But literally, there's five people top. What's our bot lane doing? Oh, it doesn't even matter. And just like that, they forfeit. It's going to be how to easily carry with Heimerdinger mid. Arcane Heimerdinger. Hopefully, he's in season two. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.